Hello. So I get a lot of questions from my friends about um, wine recommendations or wine club recommendations. So I want to show you one of my wine clubs. So I've had this wine club now for I'd say probably about two or three years. Um, whenever I went to Asheville, North Carolina, I don't know. Um, so it is the Vanderbilt Wine Club. It's just, you know, updated things that have changed because of COVID. Okay, so I, they send you three wines every quarter. Um, and you can either choose to do all reds, all whites, or a mix of the two. I do reds because that's pretty much what we drink here. Every once in a while, I'll buy myself a white. So they sent me Biltmore Estate, something I can't pronounce, more Vedrin? I've never heard of this. I've never tried it. Limited Release, that's the first one. Uh, the second one is a Petite Syrah, also limited release. And the last one is their Antler Hill 2017 Zinfandel. Um, here's the thing about Billmore, and it's the reason that they are literally my favorite wine club. I have yet to get a wine from them that I didn't love. Everything I've tried has been absolutely fantastic and delicious. So this is usually what I recommend to my friends. Um, I tried Wink for a while. I liked it at the beginning. The problem was the wines kind of got repeated a lot, which I didn't like. So. The first few shipments I got I really liked. I liked that it was a monthly um, wine club because then I got to try different wines every month and I think that one was also three bottles. And so the first few months I was like, okay, these are good. Most of the ones that I tried I really enjoyed. I got a few that I was like, eh, but they were really inexpensive so it wasn't a huge deal. I would just save the wines I didn't like for cooking. Um, the positives of it, it was it was more customizable, so I would look at what they were gonna send, and I'm typically not a Merlot drinker, so if I saw a Merlot was in there, I would swap it out for a cab. But once you've had it for a few months, it's just the same wines. So I'm essentially, I was paying for them to ship me the same three wines every month, and it just didn't seem worth it, and so I, I ended it. But this wine club has by far been my favorite. It's reasonably priced. They're really, really good bottles of wine. I mean, they're not cheap. Um, they're no two buck chuck. But I think I usually pay about somewhere around average $50 for all three. So it's my little spiel on my wine club. If you want just some regular wines to keep on rotation in your house. I can show you what we typically buy. So there's a few wines that we tend to keep on rotation here. Um, Josh Cabernet is probably our top favorite wine that we buy. We always have at least a few bottles in our house. J. Lore is also really good, um, also a Cabernet. Any of the wines that we keep on rotation regularly are Cabernets, because that's our favorite. We also do Dreaming Tree Cabernet, which is very reasonably priced. Uh, Carnivore Cabernet. And if you want to get a little bit fancier, you can do Justin Cabernet, but all really, really good wines. Um, if you are more into sweet wines, I'm not the person to ask. I don't drink sweet wine. I drink reds mostly, once in a while. I like a good Sauvignon Blanc. And dry. 
So that's what I look for in my wines, which is why a Cabernet is usually our go-to. So if you do decide to try the Biltmore Wine Club, let me know how you like it. So I did just look up my receipt from the Vanderbilt Wine Club and I was way <laughs> My receipt for this quarter was $80 for the wine and then the shipping, which was 15. So I don't know where I got 50 from. Um, it's possible I've been charged that in the past. So yeah, just wanted to put that little disclaimer.